I have recently been profiling the Nanite system in Unreal Engine 5.3. Nanite was introduced with Unreal Engine 5.0 and has had minor changes and updates in the more recent versions. Nanite is a system for faster rendering of massive triangle count meshes and high scene mesh instance counts. There are, however, some important notes about the Nanite system that I will discuss in this video. Note that even though I have spent days performing a wide range of tests, this video is not totally exhaustive on the subject. For example, I tested static meshes only and did not finish testing the various foliage systems or landscape yet. The EPIC Nanite Virtualized Geometry documentation has some notes and issues that need to be emphasized. On the page in the Benefits of Nanite section, note, although the advantages can be game-changing, there are practical limits that still remain. For example, instance counts, triangles per mesh, material complexity, output resolution, and performance should be carefully measured for any combination of content and hardware. This is very important. If you do not spend the time profiling the performance of your meshes using Nanite, you may actually be losing game render performance. I have typically found a performance loss of around 15% for scenes that had meshes that had Nanite enabled when they should not have been using it. While 15% performance loss can be possibly tolerated on a game that is being played on a high-end system getting 100 frames per second, a drop to 85 frames per second can be tolerated, but is usually frowned upon by gamers. It is a different matter when the game system is something like the Steam Hardware Survey Most Common Computer that is getting only 30 frames per second. A drop to 25 frames per second can ruin the gameplay. On the EPIC documentation page in the What Types of Meshes Should Nanite Be Used For section, the comment that reads, Nanite should generally be enabled wherever possible. Any static mesh that has it enabled will typically render faster and take up less memory and disk space. This is just plain wrong as it is written and anyone who follows this comment without profiling will be quite possibly causing significant performance loss on their game. Epic does partially clarify this comment immediately after it, stating that, more specifically, this relates to meshes that contain many triangles. But I do see game developers enabling Nanite on every mesh in their maps without performing any profiling at all, and this will quite likely be a net performance negative in many cases. For the too long didn't read people in the audience, with days spent benchmarking a wide range of scenes and meshes on a wide variety of computer systems, the typical case where Nanite actually had a net performance benefit was on meshes that were 400,000 triangles or more and or scenes with more than 10,000 mesh instances in the viewport frustum. My test scenes that had a few thousand meshes that were 30,000 triangles or less actually suffered worse performance using Nanite by typically a 15% loss. Epic has a demo project that they created that is using Nanite rendering. I decided to download it and try it out on my computer that would be rated as a Steam Hardware Survey Most Common Hardware. On that computer at 1920 by 1080, I get 3 frames per second when I move the camera in the scene. At a lower resolution of 1280 by 720, that goes up to 7 frames per second when I move the camera in the scene. This is totally unplayable on common hardware. This is why Epic has a disclaimer on the project that the recommended hardware specifications are a 12-core processor, 64 gigabytes memory minimum, and an RTX 2080 minimum. With those system specs, they have just ruled out 80% of the computers on the Steam hardware survey. So if you want your game to be able to actually be played by most gamers, do not do what Epic did for this style and level of game design. 
I decided to test for the breakover point where, according to the epic documentation portion that made sense, where they said this relates to meshes that contain many triangles, I performed dozens of tests to find out what that many triangles count and the many instances count actually is. While I spent a few days testing this, I will still admit that it is not an entirely exhaustive test, as there are many variables to consider. This is why profiling your own game design is a definite must do. The tests were performed on the game testing computers and workstation that I have in my studio. These include two Steam Hardware Survey most common level systems, all the way up to a top end actual workstation. The performance data shown here will only include the i3-12100 and the W7-2495X, which are the bottom and top systems. The rest of the systems were fairly linear in their performance numbers in between the bottom and top systems, based on their relative hardware performance. All of these tests were performed with a packaged Windows build. We can see from these results that medium instance counts of small meshes are not improved by using Nanite until you get to more than 10,000 instances in the viewport frustum. And large meshes from 400,000 triangles to 1.2 million triangles and especially the higher triangle counts are much improved with Nanite. This seems especially true for the low-end computer that is the typical Steam Hardware Survey level of computer hardware. My recommendation to level designers, after seeing these results, is to typically only use Nanite on hero meshes that are 250,000 triangles or more, and or when you have 10,000 or more meshes in the viewport frustum. Using Nanite on low triangle count meshes even with a few thousand instance counts in the viewport frustum, is usually a net negative in performance with Nanite. Note that exceeding 10,000 meshes in the viewport frustum is quite dense level design, and if the design is only using low to medium triangle count meshes of 30,000 triangles or less, then profiling should definitely be performed before enabling Nanite. So if you are creating a simple platformer game or a side scroller using low poly meshes and you enable Nanite, you most likely lost about 15% of your performance.